Which God do you believe in? That's a good question. You know what? Where do we get where do we get truth? Where do we, can we get truth from a book? No. Not from a where do we get truth from then? From you! <laughs> you have all the truth. Okay, I will test you, oh great one. What is gonna happen in ten weeks time? We're gonna get the government out of office and put the socialist socialist type of Ah shit. so the government is going out of office. Now <coughs> If it doesn't happen, then you're not the all-knowing one. Yeah, put me on the pressure. Yeah, I want the pressure. I want the pressure. <laughs> okay, right. Now the key thing is, is there a sauce? I'm not, not talking about mint sauce, tomato sauce, or any other sauce. I'm talking about the real source of truth. We want truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us, God. If there is a God, can he communicate? Well, he's created us because we're not evolved. You're not related to a baboon. I was in a zoo the other day and I saw some baboons. And in, in the schools, in the English schools, they teach about macroevolution and the Big Bang Theory is a fact. And they say, you are a bunch of animals, children. You're related to baboons. Now, I question this because I have rationale. I have, I have the ability to critique. Still, I don't just follow the mainstream media. Now, do you know what? There is a certain person on your lovely mainstream media. You, I bet you love this guy. Here's, here he is, here he is. I bet you love this guy. Do you love this old man? Do you love him? Ah, oh, it's David Attenborough. He tells you that you children are pond scum. He tells you you came from pond scum. He says your life is a very temporary, meaningless piece of shite, basically. Oh, he does, he does. He says that you came from the goo. From the goo to you via the zoo. He says that's true, and he ain't even a rapper. Now, children, you should question this. Joe, stand over there, stand over there. Question this, do you know why? I know scientists, top scientists, and they don't believe in macroevolution and the Big Bang Theory. The truth is we have an intelligent designer. You have a brain. The most incredible thing in the universe yeah. The most incredible thing in the universe is the thing between your ears. You have a brain. Now, is he telling you the truth? No, he's not. He's saying you're related to a baboon. Now, is there a book that can tell us the truth? Well, I believe this book. Yes, I've read. I have the ability to read and so do you. It's an amazing gift, a God-given gift. I have read the Quran. I've read the Origin of Species. I've read the, the, the uh, I've read the Sikh Sahib. I've read all sorts of books, and I'm sure you have. Maybe. Now they tell different things. Now the key thing is, is it true? Here's, here's here's an example, right? Is it true that the beginning of the year is January the first? Well, we have the Romans, the pagan Romans, who worship January, Janus, the Janus God. And they bowed down to this two-headed thing. And it was January the 1st that commemorates the wonderful, significant celebration of Janus. Well, we get January. Now, what did Janus do? Do you know? Okay, you don't. This is your lucky day. He, they sacrificed children to this God. They sacrifice children. You, you, you don't see. What your God did. You, you think that that's okay? Sacrificing your God, your God children. He said, his "Oh, son, didn't he? now here's the key thing. Here's the key thing, okay? Janus. The original, the original back in the day was the new start would be spring. You spring into life. Yeah, that's what it was. That's the natural beginning of the year." when you have the dead winter and then it springs into life that's when it starts so it would be round about springtime quite obvious you missed that so 21st of december here's the key thing here's the key thing 
Are you just gonna go with the flow like a sheep, like most I'll, people I'll do? Go with the sun. Ah, I'll go with the sun. Ah. The moon. Here is a sheep. No, I'm not a sheep. So he just goes with the flow. Oh well, it doesn't matter about the truth, really. He believes. He believes, believe that this guy, he believes this guy, he believes this guy is wonderful. No, I don't. He's, he's a, your prophet. He's a silly old fool that narrates He tells you that documentaries you're and takes all the to a baboon. For he's making a monkey out of you, man. He's making a lot of mo money as well. He's got 26 mil in the bank. How do but you, know? you don't realize How that because do you, you don't do your homework. Now, do your homework, check it out, research, and you'll see that you're a human being made by an incredible Steve, God. He's me? given you the ability to read. Is now, I've read the Quran. <laughs> and in the Quran, there are no prophecies. The fingerprints of God, who will write and communicate to us, giving us the ability to read, will be prophecy. Because a true prophet will prophesy. Church it's all in the name. Read, Prophet read, prophesy. Read. Telling the future. Now the only one true God will tell the future. Now how much of the Bible is prophecy? Here it is. A third of it. A third of it is telling what's going to happen and it happens. What's going to happen and it happens. Wow, what's what a clever God. Tuesday? What a clever, clever, what's ingenious God. He made your brain. It weighs about three pounds between your ears, and it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. Now, you cannot only know about God, you can know Him. I know Him. Since I was 19 years old, hundreds of years ago, when I was 19, back in the day, South London, I thought, you know what, God, I'll do you a favour, mate. I'll read your little book. So I got hold of it, 19, very, so 19 far more cynical old. than so this guy, far like more that. cynical than this guy who tries to be cynical. I really was, and I was nasty about it. He's nasty, but I was worse. Oh, that's not nice. So I got hold so of the I'm book, nasty. I got hold of the book, and I thought, hang on a minute. That's the, that's this the love is of not Jesus good. for you, calling This is nasty. true, oh dear, these are real people in the real world. These are real prophecies, and they come true, oh dear. Hang on. What's come true? It in the says last that there's a years. Messiah. There's a Messiah. He wasn't the Messiah. Who he's will? A very yeah, you what? You, he's a Monty Python, a freak. Rather, he doesn't live I'd in reality. Worship Monty Python but if you live that. in reality, you'll realise that the Messiah was a very naughty boy. Had to come to Israel. I worked there for two years. He's never been there. Well, right? I have. Israel. I have two years. years, years right? Two years. I worked in a place called Israel. What does Israel mean? El means God, Isra struggled, God struggled. He was Jacob, his name was changed to Israel, okay? Now there's a reason why, okay? Israel is the promised land where the promised Messiah will come to lay down his life. All of it. He will come down to be cut off for his people. The prophet Daniel, you've got the word God in it as well. El, El Elohim, El Shaddai, the list goes on. Daniel, okay, what did he have to do? Daniel said he will be cut off his, if he's the true Messiah, if you're a Muslim and you believe in the Messiah, you must believe that this Messiah must lay down his life. Not appear to lay down his life, it's a sacrifice. Now here's the thing, right? Do you believe, do you believe in Abraham's God? Ibrahim. Oh, which is better? Do you believe in Ibrahim? I think they're both pretty bad. Have you? Do you believe in Ibrahim's God? You've never read the Quran, have you? Now, if you've read the Quran, you need to realize have you read the that Ibrahim was a prophet of God. Which which now God from the you have Cain and Abel. Have you heard of Cain and Abel? Oh, lovely yeah, white Cain and Abel. People. Lovely white Get blue your finger off, people. mate. Get I'll your finger, finger off. Everywhere. Okay. Cain why and are they Abel. White? There was a sacrifice. Why are they white? There has to be a sacrifice. Why are they white? There why? Has to be a sacrifice. The Somebody's got to die. Guilty. Someone's got to die. If you're we a need Muslim, blood. if you're a we Muslim, it's called right. justice. He is going to be on Judgment Day. I, 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 okay, is everyone I, I, over 18? You, I'm, I'll use a little bit of slang here. Slang Do you know? All oh, right. Are you, some people are a bit sensitive, so I'll say he's going to poo-poo himself. The Bible says on Judgment Day he's going to poo-poo. I won't say shit yourself because you might be offended. 
On Judgment Day, there is justice. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Do you fear God? He doesn't. He's a fool. The Bible says, if you say there's no God, you're a fool. That's what the Bible says. Now, sacrifice. Muslims, Muslims, listen. You are risking your life. You're risking your life on a book. So am I. I'm risking my life on this book. Which book is that? You're a gambler. He's a gambler. He believes in the book of evolution. The origin of species. Uh, Origin like of species. He hasn't even read it, but he believes in it. I've read it, and I don't believe in it. Right, we have Noah. Noah. Another white person. We have... Yeah, Noah, what is an animal is sacred? Again, if you're a Muslim, you've got to believe in this stuff, yeah? Wait, can I, Ibrahim. Can I ask you a question? Sorry? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I don't, I'm not on any sort of position on this. Okay, yeah. What are your grounds for uh, the sort of evolution being false? My grounds for evolution? Okay. Here's, uh, here's a little example. Uh, I've done debates in universities with uh, professors and uh, students. And the key thing is, is, is there intelligent design? Is intelligent design of your bag and your and your shoes and your clothes? Everywhere there's intelligent design. That camera is intelligently designed. As, as in and I believe, as in your brain is intelligently in designed. Of, Sorry, go on, go on. So there are hallmarks of design, so you're giving the pay the, 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 pay the argument, correct? Well, the evidence is, if you come across a watch, yeah, yeah like, like yeah, the watch, the William Paley you, you come across an intricate, complex, incredible, ingenious watch, and then you go, oh, that came from a Big Bang billions of years ago. Well, that's silly, isn't it? That but he's, he, is, he is that silly. He still that believes in the ad hominem. He believes that a big explosion of nothing created a brain. Invisible like things that, that are going on it, just like that. within your brain right now, quite incredible. Now look, we have, I mean this is just one example, we have, we have the order of the universe. If we didn't have Jupiter, if we didn't have, if we didn't have Jupiter, you'd be dead. I'm answering a question, you need to be polite to him. Right, Jupiter, okay Jupiter. Right, if we didn't have that, it absorbs thousands of comets everywhere. If we didn't have that just in the right place, you be dead. You so, 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 now that's just one yeah. tiny little, light, so tiny little so example. You're arguing that the universe yeah. has hallmarks of design. Yeah. A hallmark of design can be considered of something that is designed for a specific purpose to interact with other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all over reality. Yeah. Therefore, there has to be an intelligent creator. Yeah, yeah. This is God. Couldn't you argue that uh, making a conclusion, making the conclusion that we are the result of evolution or some sort of natural process is, is false and uh, false grounded as assuming that there is an intelligent creation. Yes. What you have, you had ad adaptation within speciation, within the genus. The biological term is genus. So you had adaptation, and that's observable and testable, so that's good science, okay? So we observe this, but if you don't observe it and you say, well, uh, billions of years ago, uh, a bacteria, given time, and chance will turn into a brain surgeon. You know, that's that's science fiction. That's pseudoscience. See, I, I, I like science. I love science, but not pseudoscience, science fiction. Not, not in the reality. You know, you can go see Star Trek and Star Wars and all that kind of stuff. But we, we need to base it on science and reality. Now, you're gambling your life on a book. If it's your origin of species, there's no God, right? Because it contradicts what the Bible says. The Bible says God made everything according to their genus. Sure according to their kind, which is which is the same as genus, right? So you, so there is adaptation. If you go to the, if I go to the North Pole, I will die. If my dog goes there, she's a she's a husky. Okay, so she'll survive, right? And if, if Eskimos go there, some of them are there, they'll survive because they've adapted to the environment. They're still human beings, yeah? So as a human being, you have the ability to read. You have the Bible. Are you a Sikh, sir? Are you a Sikh? No, I'm not. Hold okay. on, Right, so you can read the Sikh Sahib. You can, you can read. No, I'm dealing with it because this, this is a very good question. Now, the key thing is you can read a book. Now, the Bible is an incredible book. It, it's, uh, it takes you about 50 hours to read. I would, uh, I would recommend the book of Acts. If you're not going to read the whole thing, just read the book of Acts. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and Acts. I'd recommend right. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, okay, yeah. Have you read the whole book? We're, we're, no, no, I'm just correcting Oh, you haven't read the whole book? We don't want to listen to him, though. I've read the whole book. You want to listen to me? Okay, now here's key thing, right? If this book is wrong, Okay, you live, you die, life is shit, you die of cancer, heart conditions, so you try that? you try and enjoy Who yourself, but ultimately there's nothing. Who says that? So you don't remember the good life that you had and all the whatever you did, you know? 
Okay. The key thing is, according to this book, you're intelligently designed as a creator, and, he, and he's revealed himself, Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham, the prophet, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, why did Jesus die on the cross? Why did he die on the cross? Sorry? Could you tell me? I will tell you. The reason why Jesus, the Messiah, died on the cross, the reason why Jesus died on the cross, because the innocent for the guilty, the sacrifice, he had to take the punishment as the Messiah, he had to do that. He had to be born in Bethlehem. He had to live in Nazareth. And he had to give his life. And he did. He fulfilled that. To take the punishment for your sin. And everyone's sin. Now you have a choice. To believe or not believe, that is the question. Are you going to believe in him, trust in, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, then you'll be saved? I would reply to everything that you've said, yeah. that you've clearly poked holes in things like, uh, I mean, actually, I would argue that you haven't necessarily poked any holes in, uh, like, a position of, like, the, uh, for evolution, for example, or scientific explanation. Macro evolution. Yeah. Like, Macro evolution is true. Well, what, what I would what I would say is that if you are attacking, if you are essentially saying, what I understood you saying is, my solution is the most simple. It's the what? It's the most simple and is the most logical. Yeah. But I would argue that evolution is also as equally as simple and logical if you come to understand. It's logical. Can you tell me the logic? No, I'm not. No, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm not arguing for you, neither here or there. So I don't need God don't create, to present. God don't create. But I'm, I'm asking. I'm not sure what you believe. I'm. It's not. I'm not sure. I'm totally in the neutral. Balance. I'm totally. Yeah, I'm in the bats. I'm. To I don't know what that means. You're an agnostic. I'm totally neutral. I, yeah. I, have, I have no position. Which means not knowing. Agnostic. agnostic. I mean, I am right. entirely. Neutral. I entirely. Neutral. Okay. You're but a what you need to do? Do your research. Read. Read the Origin of Species. Read the Sikh Sahib. Read the Quran. Read the Bible. You have great ability. Don't just sit there watching the mainstream media. So actually, you give it a read. Yeah. Uh, you can download them on your phone. Okay. Give them and and a set and evaluate. Yeah, to evaluate. See which yeah, I, one makes most. No, I I've read them, you. and I, I think agree. this makes total and utter sense scientifically. No, I, I agree with you that looking at all sources of evidence. Useful, sorry, go on. Looking at all sources of evidence. Exactly approach, looking at all evidence yeah. and approaching them with a good amount of skepticism no. is the best thing to do. Yeah, exactly however, however, I would say that again, you have not refuted my point. How is evolution? a worse example or worse answer for how we've come about than God. If, I'll, if, I'll answer that. How, because because the, the, best, the, the, best, the best that you're going to get to in your position is that it's a choice. That's the best you can propose no, no, to us. No, no and, and you the can't... The you, you can't where does the evidence lie and who's lying about I'm the evidence? Because someone is. Where does the evidence yeah, lie? And who's lying? I know scientists, they believe in the Big Bang and macroevolution in billions of years. I know scientists, they believe in uh, six to ten thousand years. They're paleontologists, archaeologists. Uh, they're um, astro uh, astro That's astronomers, all well astronomers, etc., well etc. Et but what is the evidence? And then they what believe is the in, evidence? They believe in the creation. That's, that's anecdotal evidence. Yeah. What is the evidence? Yeah. Like, like in, like the, in the book the that you have there. What is what? What is the evidence yeah. that evolution or that position yeah. is less reliable than religion? Okay, I can answer right. that for you. Okay, who is friend? Yeah, right. okay. I'll I'll so, so you've got a bacteria. Okay. Right? I, I know a scientist, personally know a scientist, and her job is to study bacteria. They're all different types of bacteria. Now she says, okay, this is her job. She's, she's got, I don't think she has a PhD, she has a degree. And uh, so she's studying it all the time. She said, now if you give this millions of years, give it trillions of years, if you like, they will still be bacteria. They're not going to turn into anything but bacteria. But the according to the theory of macroevolution, according, uh, uh, mac according to macroevolution, okay, bacteria will eventually, what he believes, bacteria will eventually, it will morph, it will macro evolve into a, into a brain surgeon, from a bacteria to a brain surgeon. Oh, given time, this special, see, he stepped out of science. Time, it's a special thing called time and anything can happen. You can sprout wings, this is insane. This is science fiction, you are an intelligent, Person, you need to evaluate. So sure, sure. Sure. I would agree with you. I would agree with you. Yeah. You can clearly poke holes in evolution. But can you not do the same? What? I'm not going to attempt to. I, I'm not going to attempt to now. Okay. But you could clearly do the same for religion. How about as, as, okay. As, okay. as if you couldn't, the debate would not exist. Right. Try, try and knock holes in the Lord Jesus Christ. Tell me something wrong with the Lord I, I, Jesus said, Christ. I'm not going, you Tell me more, one thing you wrong. You know more than me on this topic, so I'm not going to attempt no, you've to. You've heard bits and pieces. But, but you Tell me one thing from what you know you about the Lord Jesus Christ. You the fact He died for your you sins. He rose from the dead. I can say whatever I want. He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. Okay. Now his character, he was a gutsy guy. 
He was a real gutsy guy, what and he told the truth. He told you religious, he said, have you, have you, you religious, he said, you, have you, you fake, you, you fake Jews, Jews. he said, you are sons of the devil. He didn't mess around. He knew they were going to get pissed off. He knew he was going to have to die as a result. But he was gutsy. I'm not, I'm not going to use rhetoric. So, if we give examples of miracles that Jesus performed, yeah. right? So, raising from the dead, turning water to wine, yeah. walking across water. Yeah. Have, you seen, have you seen any of those things? Never healed an Or has anyone in recorded history, other than in that specific period of history, seen those things? So, yeah, so we can agree on that, right? So, I would argue that then, in turn, we go back to this position that it's neither here or there. Because if we can, we, 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 yeah, because we Hang can see. We have, the, we have the position yeah. that he fulfilled all the prophecies. He's a historical yes, 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 yes. 2022 and, and years ago. And that he was born in Bethlehem, and that 2020. Was and that 2020. And we get our date. Look, can, can I finish He's my historical, point? but the key thing is who is he? Can we agree? Is he Lord can we agree? or liar? Can we Which agree? one is he? Can we agree not to interrupt each other? If I interrupt you, you would interrupt me. Can we agree? Yeah, but you're making, you've got to get to the point. Okay, I will get to the point. Cool. So. If you look at these miracles of Jesus, you can't observe them on a day-to-day -day basis. Whereas you can observe, you can observe science. Yes, I'm getting to the point. You can observe science on a day-to-day -day basis. Someone made the point, for example, that you can grow a human being or you can grow things from bacteria today. Whereas, whereas you can grow a human being from bacteria today. Okay, not a human being. Not a human being. No, you, you can grow bacteria from bacteria. You can grow an animal. Nothing else. But you have heard of stem cells. Things like that. No, we're talking about bacteria. Bacteria. You, 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 you turn. No, I gave you the example. So you, you need to listen to. I'm saying, I gave the example again, of a, a bacteria, bacteria specialist. She said, all you'll end up bacteria, with is bacteria. You'll never end up with a brain surgeon. Give it billions and trillions, trillions of these years. Nothing. Bacteria is the branches. So we need because, because, because it's, it's, a it's, a it's, a it's a different magnitude. It's a different magnitude. Is he a liar okay. yeah. or Lord? His first name is Lord, which means Adonai. In Greek, it's Orias. Who is Lord of your life? Who is Lord of your life? You are. Who's king of your life? Who's king of your life? To a fully grown baby is still an amazing thing, right? Amazing even even amazing. going even going from bacteria, it's a different level of magnitude. Okay, but what I'm saying is that you cannot observe you, you cannot observe miracles on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, you but you can absorb. Yeah, prove. Okay, you're, you're refute, the refute, refute the point. Refute. Refute the point. Well, how, can, how, how can I prove you that Jesus walked on water? Exactly. Apart from the fact that people, very, point, very very skeptical but your point, people, but your point very is, very skeptical. I'll answer the your you, you must let me answer the question. Credible. You're not you letting me answer the question. So You're getting carried your, away. Your position, right. Your okay. Position, there were people that, who were religion, risking their lives more credible that Jesus died and rose from the dead and they were prepared to die. They were the best position is to try as a result of seeing him. They were scared. So scared. Oh, he's gone. They're in the upper room. Oh God, what are we going to do now? They saw him come back from the dead. Now that is massive evidence that they saw him rise from the dead. There were 500 people who were witnesses to him. It says this here. Okay, you got Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Give them a read. Give one of them a read. Yeah? Give, give, give them a read. So then you, because you are gam, you are risking your life on a book. Which book? David Attenborough's book, Origin of Species, the Bible. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of God. The promise is, if you believe in the, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God will come inside your life and a miracle will happen. You'll be forgiven. You'll become a new creation. You'll still like the same music, right? You'll still like the same fashion. You'll be new inside. You'll know you're clean, you're forgiven, and you'll have a free ticket to heaven. That's what the Bible says. That's what it says. Guarantee of things to come. The Holy Spirit is a guarantee. Now the Muslims don't have that. The Muslims don't have that. Do you know anyone? Have you ever been to heaven? Do you know anyone who's been to heaven? I've never been here. I've been to Devon. Have you been to Devon? It's not even close. You have never been to Devon. It's a gay night club. Then, 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 in itself. He said he was gay before. He said he was gay. He used to be. Yeah. He's Mr. Pervy. I'll introduce you, Mr. Pervert. 